One foggy morning, November 7, 2007, on, at approximately 8.30 a.m., the Hong Kong registered container ship Costco Busan collided into the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge, causing a 212-foot-long gash in, in the front side of the ship. As a result, four fuel tanks were breached, releasing about 53,500 gallons of toxic fuel oil into San Francisco Bay. The Costco Busan oil spill is considered one of the largest oil spills in the last 20 years since the, since the Cape Mohican major spill in 1996. In response to this environmental tragedy, many citizens and governmental agencies were involved in the oil spill cleanup. Volunteer organizations such as Kill This, Kill this Bill, Save the Bay, and Oiled Wild Care Network all participated in organizing facilitating and guiding the cleanup efforts. Although there were many California citizens who wanted to, in, to get involved in the cleaning process, the San Francisco 2005 Area Contingency Plan doesn't permit the handling of hazardous material by untrained citizens. Nonetheless, there were over 1,500 volunteers who successfully registered as disaster service workers. The oil spill resulted in substantial damages to several marine habitats. 27 public beaches were closed. 85% of the affected substrate on the beaches were piles of rock, seawall, and sand. The oil contaminated 50 miles of the rocky intertidal, which is rich in marine biodiversity and includes many marine species, such as barnacles, mussels, chitons, grazing snail, sea stars, and sea anemones. In addition, this spill also affected salt marshes and eelgrass habitats. The also, the Dungeness crab season was delayed and many fisheries were closed due to oil contamination. The California Department of Fish and Game collected several fish species and found unsafe levels of toxins in mussels at Rodeo and Berkeley beaches. The fishery suspension was lifted in November 29, 2007. The following footage was taped at Crown Beach in Alameda after the most recent oil spill in the San Francisco Bay on October 31st, 2009. I know if just to wash it off in case I got it. Hmm? I know I'd wash it off in case it got on my hands, but yeah. it's all. Yeah. More key. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Uh, the way they put these signs up around here scare you out of death, though. Yeah, that's why I was like, I wasn't sure. Because I wanted to talk to the naturalists, but they're not open. So. Why well, they walk to the beach? So they, see, you see that group of people over there? Yeah. Oh, they, they're searching the beach. Are they doing the same thing you guys are doing? What? Yeah. Oh, okay. So they, they actually found this for me. So. so that's what we're looking for. Okay. That's the big disaster. All right. <laughs> okay, and then you said over here too. No, I don't know. See right here? Oh, just the black. You're right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The wait, jackpot. <laughs> what? There's the nothing stick. in there. Oh, the stick is yeah. all yours. Okay. All right. I'll call the police on you now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See that? You got a red there? Right here. Oh, I see, I see. You okay. See? Yeah, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So, like, over here, too? That little. You want, like this one here? See, this one's got, you can see it. You can see the. The trolley? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 See it all? Yeah. Huh. Okay, this is. So, you said this was petroleum? Or just, you know, I applied for an internship at the NRC, Environmental Services, but they didn't call me back. <laughs> when did you do that? When? Yeah. A couple years ago. 
What years? A couple, like two years ago, I think yeah. it was. We were hiring. I see. So yeah, it's like playing, um, huh? Okay. Used to eat, but <laughs> trying to, you know, I came in this morning and the crowd was up, so I didn't see it. Real fun. But, but that. Try to take that. The impact of the oil spill also reached larger marine animals as there were more than 50 bird species, including endangered or threatened species that were either contaminated with oil or killed. The first to be affected by the oil were quite noticeably the sea and shorebirds like loons, grebes, and geese. These marine birds in the San Francisco Bay feed on species such as the Pacific herring. Numerous birds living along beaches in the Bay Area were very much affected by the oil spill. Unfortunately, the, clean, the cleanup efforts were very mild in responding to the oil spill. Crews began cleaning up the oil in the San Francisco Bay and on the nearby beaches roughly four hours after the accident. By that time, several birds had already died because they had had too much exposure to the oil. It was literally impossible for the birds to avoid swimming in areas where the oil had spilled. In total, 1,856 birds were found dead. The live birds that were found covered in oil were taken to a treatment center in Cordelia, California. At the treatment center, the birds were washed up as much as possible. The volunteers at the treatment center in Cordelia, California were very careful in trying to remove the oil from the birds. Not all of the birds that were taken to the treatment center survived. Other birds were given euthanasia. The type of oil that spilled into the San Francisco Bay was bunker fuel. Bunker fuel affects the way a bird thermo regulates. The birds that were given euthanasia had lost their ability to defend themselves. They were more vulnerable to predators. They would not have survived very long in the wild if they had, not, if they had been released. In early 2008, the surviving birds, which ended up being around 420 birds, were released into Tomales Bay in Marin County. We understand that resources must be plentiful in order for all species to survive. Almost all food webs begin with phytoplankton that is eaten by larger zooplankton like copepods and other crustaceans. Species of fish, like the Pacific herring, feed off zooplankton and eventually larger fish or mammal species, like birds, will consume the herring. This describes the food web that mainly consists of phytoplankton, zooplankton, Pacific herring, and marine birds. An important ingredient to the estuary's food web and major contributor toward commercial fisheries is the Pacific herring. They preferably spawn during the months of November and December. The northern Pacific Ocean provides the bay with a protected environment to safeguard their eggs until they hatch. The Costco Busan oil spill occurred right before their spawning season and in turn had extensive effects on this species. Adult Pacific herring arrived late and commercial fisheries were denied their access to their catch but the offsprings were greatly affected because they are extremely susceptible to waterborne pathogens like hydrocarbons found in bunker fuel. Bunker fuel is used to power large cargo ships much like the one that collided with the Bay Bridge. Bunker fuel is created at oil refineries with both crude oil, which is also called petroleum, and diesel fuel. Hydrocarbons are found in crude oil. Hydrocarbons are also responsible for cardiac malfunction in embryonic development, which includes bradycardia, which is the decrease in heart rate, pericardial effusion, which is fluid buildup in or around the heart causing chest pains and shortness of breath, spinal curvatures, which is an increased bent shape compared to normal, this may also affect their ability to swim properly. Another mutation is wider jaws than normal. Finally, another oil spill known as the Exxon Valdez 
occurred in Alaska at the Prince William Sound also had similar effects. Their oil spill restoration plan has had the Sound closed to commercial fisheries for the past 10 years. Emily, Reem, and Laura hope you enjoyed this film covering the effects of oil spills on marine life.